Shall we begin? Let's begin. Before we start talking, you're talking. Okay, today we're gonna replace toilet or check toilet. When you flush toilet, I shut the water off. The toilet don't go down very fast, so it goes very slow. So sometimes toilet, it will after it gets old, it gets the drain gets plugged, it doesn't work correctly. So the correct way would be to take toilet out and buy a new one. Um, but if you call the plumber, he will come out and most likely just change it because he'll say the toilet's old and replace it. So all I did was spray the bolts that hold the toilet on because sometimes they get rusted. So I sprayed it with penetrating oil so it's easier to remove the bolts. But the toilet is very easy to take out. It's two bolts you pop off and there's a, rack, a wax ring underneath that creates a seal from the toilet to the drain itself. And uh, this toilet, I don't know what year it is, but it's older, so it uses more water than a newer toilet but that's even more efficient. So what I'm going to do is, I've already shut off the water, and I'm going to disconnect the, the water line, and then I'm going to take the toilet out. After I take the toilet out, I'm going to look and inspect it and see if the drain needs to get cleaned, or if there's a plug, or if the toilet is plugged. So the toilet might just need to be cleaned and you can run a snake through the toilet but you take a chance of it breaking the snake into it or the drain cleaner inside of the toilet. So it's a lot easier to take the toilet off, snake the drain and then focus on the toilet to see if the toilet is plugged up in itself. But it's already been plundered so it doesn't need, the, it runs, it's just getting older. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the toilet off. I've already flushed the toilet. I need to drain a little bit more of the water out of it, but um, there's not very much left in there. So um, give me two minutes and uh, we'll get started. Okay. All right. Now you ready? I've already disconnected the water and Go down there, so this is your water line that goes to the toilet. You have a shutoff valve here, and this is the water line that goes to there, to the bottom of the tank. And then right here where my finger's at, you have bolts that secure the toilet to the floor, or to the drain, I should say. Um, it's already ready to go. All I have to do is turn, twist, and push, and this thing will come right off, and the toilet comes right off. And you see right there, look, already. Go down underneath by my shoe. Put the camera down there, you yeah, see. Close. Close enough. You see what's hanging there? Mm -hmm. Toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's what. Exactly, you'll find it. Just make solution. So, mm -hmm. I took it off mm -hmm. because toilet paper might be at the bottom mm -hmm. or it might be in the drain. Mm -hmm. So I have the snake just in case, you, whichever one you need to do. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to take the toilet off and do it this way. Okay. So just find the problem. Oh. Just find the problem. This so. is so American handyman. <laughs> oh man, just easy to find it. Okay. Okay. I shut it off and then we do. I think we're not gonna be trouble today. It's good. Mm -hmm. okay. Feel relieved. No. Okay. So you one minute, shut it off, and I need your help. So Why well, clean you? Well, we have to. We know the problems the toilet. Yeah. So we have to. Uh huh. I see. Make sure everything's clear in there, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna run up mm -hmm. the little handheld snake in there and push to make sure it's open. But the toilet don't flush unless there's a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So. 
Yeah, well, they're just smarter. Yeah. Easy, easier to do this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could have ran the snake in there and mm -hmm. got that and pulled it out, but then I wouldn't know for sure if it was behind the drain. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. 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 Yeah.
have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. It won't go on the floor, out mm -hmm. on the tile, because we're on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So if you don't put, if you put that in there, then mm -hmm. the water is going to go between the pipe and the floor, mm -hmm. and it's going to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Water is going to find the path of least resistance. Mm -hmm. So if there's no resistance, the water will go on the floor. So you'd rather clean the tile or downstairs where you have drywall, you have to replace because it got wet, mm -hmm. paint, couch, whatever it goes on. It's better not to have on there. Mm -hmm. It looks good, but why put on? Mm -hmm. I mean, you do that, you know, you can do it. Mm -hmm. People do it, mm -hmm. but why? There's no reason to. Okay. But on the first floor, it'd be okay. Mm -hmm. But... I wouldn't do it, especially mm -hmm. with an old ring. You mm -hmm. don't want to, you're supposed to replace every time. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to replace, so we're just going to put back on. Okay. So that's it. I see. It. Uh, you see? Okay, yes. good. This is uh, actually not main situation. You can see all the dirty or real life. So this is a real situation. So people don't misunderstand. Not bro, not something known, but we just do acting. But it's not true. This is a real situation. So house toilet doesn't work. Water coming too slow. So problem. So we just to do real life. Hand stop. So now every everything reinstall reinstall again. Then put water on and then gonna check last test. <laughs> <laughs> 